Hello everyone and welcome. In this video we're going to be talking about what are my plans for my Honda S2000. Now as you can see I was hoping to do a, a driving uh, review and kind of talk about it as I was driving around. Conditions are not ideal for it. It's snowing. It's in the 20s. I've got some really crap tires on my Honda and I also just got some uh, Bridgestone uh, super high performance summer tires for it. Uh, which was probably a dumb call now that I think about it. Uh, I may look into getting some winter tires, but I'm not sure. Point is, uh, conditions are not ideal, so I can't go out and drive it right now uh, because all the tires I have suck. So what are my plans for it? Well, there's a couple maintenance items I need to address first. Uh, I'm going to do a diff oil change and a transmission oil change, so I'll have those videos up soon. Um, and then after that, I can start to get into the modification. So I want to do new tires, um, and you know, I've got to change the alignment, the rear alignments, uh, way out of whack, um, the super high negative camber on there. So I want to fix that uh, and make sure the alignment's all to spec, get it back to factory settings. Uh, the other thing, uh, you know, it's got those $50 tires on it, so obviously needs new tires. Um, I want to do a dyno run, base dyno run, so before I do any of the modifications, we know where it's sitting at and also know kind of what condition the engine is at. It is, you know, about 14, 15 years old, so it'll be good to know how much power it's making versus how much uh, was it making when it was new. And then I can start to get into the fun stuff. So there's some things I want to do to it. I definitely want to update the final drive ratio. So there's 4.3s, 4.44s, 4.57s, 4.77s. There's a lot of options out there for this car. So I'm going to be doing a video on that, talking about which option I'm going to choose and why it's beneficial for it. Uh, and then finally get one in. I'm having a hard time tracking one down. Uh, so it may be until about February that I can get one for this vehicle. Uh, I'd also like to, you know, remove some weight in areas that I can without sacrificing uh, uh, the way the car is so i want to kind of keep it as a daily driver for now and then later on i may you know start stripping it and things like that uh, getting crazy but initially i want to keep this thing as daily drivable as possible so you know things like an exhaust i'm definitely looking at because you can remove a good amount of weight uh, by doing the exhaust there's one that i really like that's all titanium uh, but it's two grand and that's stupid to spend two thousand dollars on an exhaust so i'll think about it uh, I also am thinking about supercharging this. I think it'd be really cool to get a supercharger on this. Um, there's some cool kits out there, uh, which are kind of pricey, but I think it'd be a lot of fun to get a supercharger on this thing uh, with an updated final drive and really be able to kind of rip through the corners, get those tires to slide out if I want to. So I think that would be a lot of fun to do. Um, so but basically my main goals with it, kind of remove some weight, uh, get some more torque at the rear wheels because it doesn't produce much torque as is. Uh, so you can do that by updating the final drive and a supercharger. Uh, and I want to kind of keep it daily drivable so that, you know, it doesn't drive any different. The characteristics are all very similar initially. So I'm not looking at a suspension right now. I don't want to ruin uh, the suspension setup, which they have, uh, which is what you'll often do by throwing in, you know, an aftermarket super stiff suspension. Um, and I'm not really looking into stripping things out of it just yet. Uh, so not too much weight removal, but looking at items which I can take out possibly a, a drive shaft if you can get some weight out by doing like a carbon fiber drive shaft or something like that with it. Um, so I'm looking at some different options for it. I want to take out some weight and want to add some torque to the rear wheel. So those are the two main goals with it. Now, one thing which I should mention is conditions out here are pretty terrible and I wasn't expecting winter to be so cold here. And so, you know, with it being pretty much constantly in the 20s, there's not a whole lot I can do with this car and it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to do all these modifications when it's freezing outside. So unfortunately, I think I'm gonna be postponing the build process of this vehicle uh, because weather isn't cooperating and I don't wanna do modifications and then not even be able to drive it and test them out. Uh, so it may end up taking a while before I can start getting into the fun stuff, uh, but stick with me. And once we start getting some warmer temps around here, I'm definitely gonna start putting some money into this and having some fun with this vehicle. So thank you guys for watching, and if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Let me know if you have any ideas uh, as far as what I should do with this car. Thanks.